Katakan 2020, Share Me Lee here. You may know me as Asuna in Sword Art Online, Lucy in Fairy Tale, Sailor Venus in Sailor Moon, or Makoto in Persona 5. I'm so excited to be here and I hope you have an amazing convention. Love you guys. <laughs> All right, Casacom 2020. I am here with the talented and amazing Shirley Lee. How's it going? Thank you. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Well, we're just running by one more time. But again, I got to see you at your signing booth. You got to interact with so many of your fans, and it just felt really like organic and a lot of love and appreciation. It was just amazing to watch you do so. How's it been for you, though? Amazing. I mean, I never, ever would have thought getting into voiceover that anyone would care to meet me when it's just a voice. Uh, so to get to meet so many people and get to hear how they interact with the projects is the best. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck in a padded room every day. <laughs> so like to get to be around people, uh, oftentimes I'm like, I need to tone it down. My energy is like a lot but I'm so excited to see everyone. It's really, really fun. That padded room isn't a sane asylum, is it? Uh, I don't know, but if it is, like all of the actors were all there together, so. <laughs> that sounds like a nice place. It's Arkham Asylum, people. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> so you've been accredited over 250 roles and growing. I just, I mean, we can talk about those quickly, but peeping into 2020 and the projects that you are connected to, it's kind of mind-blowing. But I am going to call an audible here. We're going okay. to jump to something a little bit more fun. So okay, I cool. did, okay, actually, it's two things I think is very fun. Okay. One, you started your, started your career off really, really young. And I saw this to be a rumor. I'm not sure if it's true. But you had an audition for the Miracle on, on 13th Street when you were younger? Yeah. So it's a classic. I, oh my gosh, yeah. My mom, I told my mom I wanted to be an actor when I was three, and my mom said, no, it's a really hard business. You're going to hate it, and I don't want to deal with it. Um, and so she took me to Miracle on 34th Street, the open call. We had to be there all day, and she thought, this is going to be great. It's going to be hard. It's going to be exhausting. She's going to hate it, and then this dream will die. And uh, I stayed there all day. I got to audition over and over. I made it to, like the top 10 kids, and I was like, Mom, this is everything I wanted and more. It <laughs> totally backfired on her. Uh, but that was when the casting director was like, I think she needs to do this, uh, and told my mom, like, she needs to get an agent. My mom was like, please don't tell her that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that audition was really uh, changed changed my life. It showed my mom, like, I was right, and I knew this is what I wanted to do, and she just... Luckily, she got on board. She's at the con with me. Speak, I was going to say, speaking of mom, <laughs> you mean AKA your twin. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. I'm, I can't even imagine. I, I, what was I doing at five? But yet alone knowing <laughs> what I wanted to do my entire life and then nailing it. I've been like a weird type A kid for way too long. <laughs> I need to have a little more chill. I have zero chill. So, so another project that's saw you connected with because... Look, here's, here's, here's the thing with this. Here's, it, this is really particular because there's a lot of rumor, there's a lot of legend to this. Okay. But you've done some work with Walker, Texas Ranger. So that's, that's true, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the guy, Chuck Norris, yeah. you met this guy? Yeah. Is this a, like a real thing? Because like, no, no one meets Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris meets people. It's true. It's true. Um, I actually was lucky enough to work with Chuck Norris not once but twice. Chuck Norris was actually, a, work, working on Walker, Texas Ranger was the first TV show I ever got to work on. And I was eight years old and I did the Christmas episode. I played an orphan named uh, Sally. And uh, Chuck Norris was telling us a story. My first line in the episode was directed to the legendary Chuck Norris. He was so nice. He let me take a picture. And then when I came back, 
years later to work on another episode called Safe House, um, the man has met so many people. And he was like, <laughs> I know you, you look a little bit older now. And I was like, Chuck Norris is a legendary, like, like he's a vault of memories in addition to being like a superhero of superheroes. Uh, but on that episode, his, um, he needed like a fighting double for one roundhouse kick because his hip had gotten injured. He still does it, but they had to have that fighting double there in case he was like having some pain because the man has been fighting forever. Yeah. Uh, but the fighting double for that one kick, uh, his daughter was my stunt double. So does that make Chuck Norris in some alternate universe my dad? Absolutely. That is the end of the interview. <laughs> That's all we needed to know. Confirm, people. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and again, before we get to 2020 stuff, a lot of other funny stuff. So, you know, you're a big movie fan. Just mm -hmm. quickly, what's the best thing that you've watched recently that, you know, one of your favorite movies? Oh, geez. So, uh, the Oscars just happened, um, and we were trying to get caught up on all the movies. Uh, I watched Parasite most recently, which was incredible. Uh, I watched Harriet as well, which as soon as you finish Harriet, if you do not go... People are really incredible, yes. aren't they? Like, yes. I mean, <laughs> I just like, I finished watching the movie going, I am five feet tall and I have done nothing with my life. Oh, please. Uh, because that was just yeah. one of the most inspiring movies. And then the voice that Cynthia Erivo has is like, Everybody can go home now. She is just awesome. Uh, Judy made me cry. Joker was a lot. Uh, yeah. I walked around my house afterwards just like with a lot of feelings I after that may. movie. You just got to process <laughs> yes, that. Yeah. Um, and then Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. That yeah. was amazing. Yes. Um, I also watched Morning Show with uh, Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. I, that. Favorite, it's the best TV show out there. Dude, it was awesome. About. Loved it. It was worth every bit of Apple Plus. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. It was great. Yeah. And also, moving forward really quick, I know you're a big museum fan. You're yeah, in yeah. Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah. Have you visited some of the museums out Dude, here? Dude, actually, today was the day. I pick one day every time I come to D.C. Nice. to see one museum. Today we went to the National Museum of Women in the Arts, awesome. which I did not was a museum. Uh, and it was very fun. But yeah, that is like one of my all-time favorite things to do. I'm, awesome. uh, I'm a nerd in all ways. Awesome. Also, you know, if you ever need to connect, now guys, please don't come looking for me, but my day job is at the National Archives. So if you what? ever want to see some, you know, history of some sort, yeah. you know. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, this, seriously? This is a thing. Yeah. Oh my thing. gosh. 15 How years cool. in there. <laughs> That's incredible. Absolutely. How do you get a day job like that? I don't actually, you know, that's a long story. Well, we got that's time living here, but it's, it's also, it is awesome. It yeah, is awesome. Cool. I always tell people, if you're in time, I know a lot of the other museums, Air and Space is my favorite. A lot of them are very attractive to want to go to, but U.S. history is at the archives, yeah. original history, so is check it out. your favorite museum, the one that you work at? Um, I mean, Aerospace is still my favorite because okay. just my infatuation with space and sure. the biggest IMAX theater on the East Coast is yeah. in there, so, That's you know, double down on that, cool. but because it's right there every day in my luxury to, to check out stuff, it's cool. Yeah, it's Unless cool. we're in the press for doing bad stuff, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> no way, no way. Also, last rumor... Move this really quick. <laughs> You're like, La no, we gotta get down. This is this is this is I need okay. I need to confirm this one. Okay. Is Goofy movie okay. your favorite Disney movie? Is it my favorite I, Disney I movie? I believe I've heard that of all times. Um, it's so hard to pick a favorite Disney movie of all time. However, hey, as long as it's in your top five, I'll give you. Well, that. duh. Okay, great. And I I got to meet the wonderful Jason recently. <sighs> He is everything you want him to be, and then some. Uh. He signed a Goofy movie uh, print for my husband that I gave to him for his birthday, and keeping that a secret was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And I say, I am a voice actor sometimes, but really, I keep secrets for a living, because <laughs> there's so many NDAs. I live my life in fear. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think I think it's about time for us to venture into that. World oh no! See, see oh, what no. we can actually talk no, about no. here. Okay. Also, okay. that's an amazing gift, and also too, I must gotta say, if there's anybody I can see you cosplaying, yeah, Roxanne from Goofy Movie. Oh my God, that'd be so it. cool! Oh, that's so nice. Come on, guys, buy into it. You know it. Look that's at it. That's so fun. I would love that. 
I, Maybe one day. I, I think it makes sense. Okay. Okay, so 2020. Okay. Got a lot of projects coming yeah. up. Yeah. Persona 5 Royal comes out next month. Yeah. Um, you have Space Channel uh, VR, which is also going to yeah. be great too. Space Channel 5 VR, which is also. Recently, they just announced that. That was a hard secret. And then, the, the, I, I remember when I first saw the trailer, and I, I besides the end that everybody went over, it's nothing like when you hear one of your favorite voice actors in something, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> run that like, back really quick. Oh, yeah, I know. I know everyone. I love Keanu Reeves. I know. I know that was the that was the <laughs> best part of it. I know people, but now, there's nothing no better than when you can be like, oh, I know that voice. <laughs> I know that voice. And we're talking about Cyberpunk 2077. He he had me saying 2022 earlier, so I have to make sure I get that right. My God. I got to I got to work on the demo, and that's all I know. We'll see. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. None of us knows when it's coming out. I mean, now it's April. We'll, I guess we'll have to I, wait and yeah, see. Yeah, I, I legit know nothing. Okay. So I hope I hope for the best. The game looks incredible. Yeah, you're be. I'm, I'm a huge Keanu Reeves fan, uh, and I and I got to work on the demo. But besides that, we'll see what happens. It would be a dream. That Fingers would be crossed. incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book it, whoever it is, For, just book it. Get it be, done. Get that it would done. Be beyond. But I, I would assume you could talk about Persona 5 next month. Yeah. So how's it, you know, coming back into the role now in the video game after some time? So cool. Uh, I love Persona. I love getting to play Makoto. Um, when they said we were getting to do R, I was super stoked. And then when I went in for my session for R is when they released the trailer for Scramble. And I was like, do we get to do that? They were like, honestly, we don't know. So, uh, <laughs> and I knew he wasn't lying. Because usually when they are messing with you there's like a wink or a nod or they just say it's fine just don't talk about it yeah. uh but for that one they genuinely didn't know so fingers crossed and the anime would be incredible if we got to do that as well uh but i don't know but yeah so all we have for now for sure is r and uh i'll take any any bit of persona i can that is so awesome. i'm super stoked that's awesome so before we wrap this up i also know that you are a foodie mm -hmm. Have you had any places around here? Have you tried anything? Is there anything that, that kind of represents DC to you when it's you come out here? It's very hard to get to sneak away from the convention. Usually we're stuck in the hotel. Today was my my one day to like to get out and uh, one of my favorite restaurants to go to anywhere, and I know there's one in DC, is uh, True Food yeah. Kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I went to True Food this morning for brunch, and then we went to the uh, museum, and that was a great start to what we knew was going to be an epic day that at Katsu. Awesome. So. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could recommend, I mean, we're right here in Austin Hill, Maryland, yeah. so we're about five minutes across the bridge from Virginia, a little bit further than that, about 10 minutes. Annandale, Virginia has amazing selection of What's international food. Ah, I think if it's if we're talking about that area, Korean barbecue or honey pig is my Sweet. it's my guilty. I mean, look, you can't go wrong with a or you can eat for twenty two dollars. That's incredible. Yeah, it's it's, it's almost criminal. There's because, always dinner. Yeah, <laughs> I but there's a couple of voice actors like, what are we gonna do for dinner? So we haven't decided yet. So. There you go. That will be my contribution to the conversation. I think it will be. We'll see what wins. I think it will be great. So, last question for you: What has Casacon and just the area of fans meant to you? Oh my gosh, this is my third year to get to come back here, and I've been to DC so many times before. Uh, but th there's there's nothing like it. The the I'm getting to see people um, so many years, and they keep coming back. Everybody's very loyal to this convention, um, and it's so fun to get to see kids grow up with their parents and getting to see uh, how people are responding to the shows. I saw one girl five years ago, and uh, now she's graduated from high school, oh. and she watched Fairy Tale growing up. So she was like, it's so great to see you now. I'm going to college. And it feels like a family, yeah. uh, which is so special. So it's it's just like coming home and seeing everybody. It's a blast. I don't think I will ever, ever tire of this gift and the fact that people want to come see me and want to talk about the shows and like want to have a conversation is so surreal and it's something I will never take for granted. It is absolutely a joy. That is awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for everything that you've done, your energy and just uh, the, the love you put out there and it's, everything is so well deserved for oh, your future. Thank you so much. And also too, thank you mom for betting on your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks mom for saying it's fine. You can do this acting thing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Catch you later.